There's a shortage of water all over Port-au-Prince, but nowhere is it more critical than in the city's hospitals. And a huge part of uh, giving people medical attention is making sure they heal properly and water is a vital part of that. The doctors can't operate without water and the patients cannot survive without water. Since the earthquake, they've had to truck water in every day. It takes time, uses fuel and wastes manpower. Right where it's needed most, Operation Blessing brought in a filtration system that is providing the hospital with 10,000 gallons of clean water every single day. So we're just getting the system flushed out. This is uh, basically raw city water coming straight out of the ground through the filtration system and out here. Now I talked to a gentleman with uh, Water Missions International and um, he said the city water is just not fit to drink. But this water is going to soon be saving people's lives. I've been here with my daughter for five days. Her leg was amputated. I had to go everywhere to find water. Now, I just come here and get a drink. Soon they'll have 10 filtration systems set up in the city. And that's just one of many ways Operation Blessing is meeting people's immediate needs here in Haiti. And the first thing we did was work with a team of Israeli paramedics. We got doctors out in the quake zone. We're doing mobile field hospitals now at the National Stadium. We're treating hundreds of hundreds of people every day, coming in with horrific injuries. We've been distributing food that's been coming in on flights from the USA. We have medicines that's coming in on the flights. Uh, today we distributed a full truckload of medicine to the hospital here. So Operation Blessing is really mobilized. We're on the ground. We've got trucks going out. We're doing all sorts of things, saving lives in Haiti at this critical time.